Hello, I'm Magin Panik and welcome to the third part, introduction to Toon Boom Harmony for Special Effect Artists. In this one we're gonna talk deeper about the properties, about tools and about timeline. So let's open our scene again, I'm gonna move myself away. Uh, the first thing we're gonna talk is the timeline uh, and of course at the very beginning we have the play button, the button that <laughs> that's called do not touch ever. Uh, then we have the loop sound and scrubbing in case you want to scrub uh, through the music once you upload the sound then we have the frame the current frame that we are at the start of this triangle start and stop and the frames per second uh, there we have the centros on selection uh, which i'm gonna talk later in a second uh, and two things that i'm gonna uh, talk in a second as well. Let's go to the layer. Uh, we have this enable disable. You can use AD uh, hotkey to do it. Uh, then you have the lock icon. You can no longer select this uh, layer with this turned on. You have the uh, toggle outline if you want to see only the outline. Uh, if you will double click, you can actually change color for the entire timeline there is no way i believe to uh, change the, the, this color restore to default uh, you will have to find the uh, similar color to what you had uh, but it's something you can mark entire layer if you have so many layers uh, you can always press ctrl z if you not go too far uh, if you will double click on the on the name of course you can change the name of it if you'll double click on this icon you have the layer properties which you will have if you will click this plus icon here as well if you will actually create a keyframe somewhere alt f6 uh, all those values here will turn gray and the only way to access them will be to go into uh, click local for all of those or you can actually access them and put some values. We're gonna press Alt F7 uh, to remove the keyframe. Uh, okay, the next thing uh, we are gonna have, well, let's disable this layer. Uh, let's create new layer on the drawing window as well as on the node view. You can press Ctrl R and this window will pop up. This window will pop up as well if you will click this icon here let's call the uh, d1 let's press add uh, the window will not close so let's press d2 and add and close we have two layers here uh, we can do something like this on the timeline or just click them on the node view and connect them in a different way we're going to talk about it later okay we have two layers let's do something on the first one i'm gonna draw a couple exposures let's do one two three we're gonna go to the library window and we have this if you will press period and comma we can move through frames and you can actually see there are three frame in the library in this layer if you will delete one layer uh, if you delete one exposure uh, you can notice we was here if you delete it it didn't disappear okay so it's still there you have the first one and the third one but the second one is over there so you can go to the library window and just select the second one uh, you can also change them using the brackets left and right to a switch between exposures uh, that might be useful uh, okay the next thing that we're gonna focus is the extend exposure you can click somewhere and hit f5 to extend this exposure uh, if you will draw something like on this frame you can see that the exposure extend automatically is because we go to edit preferences exposure sheet and we have the extend exposure of previous drawing selected so we press ok uh, if you don't have this selected and you prefer not to let's go to preferences again and unselect it and let's draw some frames 
uh, if by any chance you want to extend those exposures like all of them at once you can select them and click this button here which will fill empty cells which is useful now you can for example uh, select all of them and you can go right click and go to exposure and set exposure to one two three or set the exposure uh, which can turn all the frames into twos which is helpful you can also extend increase the exposure by pressing plus and minus which is useful and the other trick that you can do uh, you can on the whatever layer you have you can select a fragment right click exposure sequence fill control m uh, which will fill the selection with empty empty exposures let's go to uh, starting value one increment one hold two frames and you can have an uh, entire batch of twos on the next layer uh, the other the other handy toolbar that i used to have that i like to have is this mark drawing toolbar which can mark our drawings uh, for example if you are creating loops you can see where the starting loop is or where the keyframe breakdowns uh, this uh, mark selected drawing as in between is broken uh, but it worked perfectly to just deselect what we have selected okay let's draw something on the second layer we're gonna have something like this uh, if by any chance this will happen when the other layer is uh, turned gray is because you have selected this light table might be useful in some cases I don't use it at all I don't know why I clicked this uh, okay if I will select alt s this uh, selected layer only the d1 will be selected whenever that's there if I will click shift t I'm going to the transform tool and with transform tool I can select the layer uh, which might be useful to uh, jump between layers quickly shift t for this tool alt s for selection shift t alt s shift t alt s that's very useful very quick uh, and i'm doing it all the time if we are uh, at the selection we're gonna talk about something but before there are three more buttons here pace modes all drawings keyframes exposures let's create some keyframes f6 on this layer uh, we have all selected and if we'll go select everything and move everything will move if we have only keyframes selected only the keyframes will select and on the exposures it works exactly the same only exposures that's pretty useful f7 to clear keyframes uh, okay as you noticed if i will select two layers I can now select everything uh, but that might be not what you want to do uh, you might want to select everything uh, that's on the screen let's get into the onion skin uh, so we will see the next frame let's draw there's something like three and four so I will have the next and previous frames everywhere uh, I have the selection tool and I'm on the D2 layer if I will select it uh, then only this layer is selected obviously but I can also uh, select something like apply to all visible layers so if this will be selected I can select now everything I can do something like the next button uh, which is select all frames and you can notice this red icon here appear apply to all frames now i'm selecting everything within those layers and within those this selection because i have this on uh, there's worth notice i asked you to go to preferences at the very beginning advanced support over and underlay arts every single layer in Toon Boom harmony have four options four sub layers to draw in uh, let's go to uh, this layer here and I can select the overlay to access to this window 
you have to right click and go to art layers uh, you can go to overlay and you can draw something there let's go let's create o for overlay on the line art let's create l c for color underlay u so uh, if you select something even if you are within this layer you are selecting only this art layer that you are within okay so in order to select everything within this art layer you have to click this applying to line and coral art and this will allow you to uh, select everything and additionally you can always select everything and move scale rotate whatever you want uh, all right moving on uh, the last thing that i didn't mention about the timeline and exposures if you extend the exposure of course you can press alt shift d to duplicate the exposure it will create exactly the same uh, image with new number on it as you can see on the parameters okay that's pretty much it for uh, for the selection tool uh, let's go and use some other tools let's create a little shape okay and if you will press uh, alt q you will go into the contour editor and now you can manipulate the uh, contour that's creating this fill uh, it applies exactly the same for the uh, pencil alt slash exactly the same if you press key on the keyboard you can see this uh, line that's creating those shapes which might be useful uh, if you want to have that on on the alt q mode contour editor you can of course with control add points you can with alt uh, stretch them again with alt you can break those points you can do whatever you want uh, the very handy tool which is alt v to stroke which is not visible if you press k again it's there you can select it but it's not visible it might be helpful if you want to uh, draw something let's say uh, make some shading or whatever and it's not visible here but you can actually go to color and just uh, recolor the ones that you used with the uh, stroke uh, okay the other tool that you might use pretty often is the dropper alt d to select this color alt d alt b for the brush tool alt d again alt b and uh, we're gonna use another color and draw something with the other color okay what we're gonna do now we're gonna uh, go to the powerful tool which is uh, this bucket tool uh, and we're gonna do some things but before that we're gonna go to the brush settings we have this out of your own let's turn it off because i want to create some empty space like this uh, let's go to paint bucket tool we're gonna change the color to black and we're gonna go to modes of this paint bucket tool you have you can access them here as well uh, we'll go to paint unpainted and we're gonna select everything and what's gonna happen only those unpainted things will actually paint now let's change the mode to repaint and everything that painted will be repainted and if you'll use unpaint it will unpaint everything the same applies uh, for uh, all visible light, all visible drawings and all frames uh, there's a little thing here you can apply this to onion skin range which might be useful in some cases okay so let's delete that the other thing that you will use so much uh, in tunboom is the cutter tool let's create ugly uh, little ugly flame just like this and to actually uh, delete those little parts you can of course use the eraser but that's not efficient 
alt t for the cutter tool which is over there under the select you can just slice everything right away uh, you can notice everything that you will draw let's turn down the opacity a little so we will uh, you will see what i'm saying everything by default is not uh, connected every shape is a uh, its own shape uh, in order to merge them together you can have this auto flatten turned on all the time so all the lines will be merged uh, it have a cool option if you just create a little dot it will add auto flatten everything within this selection which is cool but what i wanted to show you if you will select something uh, alt shift control f it will do the auto flatten for you shift control f auto flatten for you uh, okay so let's let's select uh, this part and let's fill this ugly uh, thing with color what we're gonna do now we're gonna talk about the colors let's focus on colors for a second uh, we're gonna uh, draw something with red and we're gonna go to properties of this of this brush and we're gonna use paint behind and we're gonna draw something like this uh, we're painting behind which is a useful tool you can paint uh, actually repaint which will go like this and something that I wanted to show you, let's select the red color and let's uh, left click on it and let's select protect color. If we will go to the next color green, we have the repaint brush selected and if we we'll paint it, it will actually prevent us to uh, even touch this uh, red color. We can use Alt E to alt i to repaint it and it will not repaint this red color that's useful if you want to play around with it uh, go for sure the other thing about colors is under the uh, select tool you have the select by color and you can actually select uh, within the layer by color of course you have all those options here available let's turn this off let's delete what we just did about the colors every color uh, is uh, within the palette uh, so scene have palettes you can add palettes you can uh, rename them delete them and you can have a palette for different effects for example if you have water that you are using the palette color for water you can move it from a scene to another uh, it will automatically go there uh, you can delete color you can add colors uh, rename them you can access this little window by double clicking uh, if that's not enough you have the solid and gradient and as well radio uh, gradient here and if this window is not enough you have the multi wheel mode which will open a little bigger uh, thing to play around so i believe that's pretty much it for this tutorial I cover everything uh, to speed up your workflow and yeah that's it for this one in the next tutorial we're gonna modify the effect that we did on the first tutorial to make it look glowy and much much better for the eye and render the finished piece thank you so much for watching and see you around cheers